So let's start with that subject then of Royal Warrens. You, you, you know the ones I mean. They, they've got the coat of arms and your bottle of HP sores, for example. But what does it actually mean? Um, what's going to happen to the Warrens now that the Queen has passed away? Uh, Kate Hardcastle is a consumer and retail expert at Insight with Passion, and she joins us now. Kate, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. I, I was actually quite surprised to find out that all those stamps, um, if I can call them that, but the, the the royal warrants by appointment of Her Majesty the Queen that we see on so many products are now invalid. Well, I need to check on this, but it's my belief that some of them are still valid because they are given out by royal households and the households of the Prince of Wales, now King Charles III, would still be current under that. So I think some might still stand, but indeed the ones that were signed off, if you like, by the household of the late Queen would therefore now um, need to to be revisited in, in terms of the process that happens. Now, it's important to say that those warrants, from what I understand, are re- ha- the, the products have to reapply every five years in order to be able to maintain that uh, royal warrant. And they have uh, some time now to either reapply or take them off the products. I think they have about two years to uh, get them off the products. But what does it mean, Kate, to be able to put a royal warrant on your business, on your supply goods? What what difference does it make to the businesses? Well, you're absolutely right about the five-year process. And there has to be a fair period of the involvement of labelling because labelling isn't something that every brand does on a weekly or indeed monthly basis. People will buy, businesses will buy up massive bulks of of packaging and therefore there must be a period of grace but when we talk about the royal warrant which is the symbol that you'll see on everything from those cereals at your breakfast table right through to some of the most luxurious house uh household brands and retailers and indeed service suppliers it means that they have been marked as somebody that has supplied the royal household or is indeed a favorite And I think that comes with a great prestige from many of the organisations that are proud to bear that symbol, particularly in terms of the national and international stage as well. So one can imagine that perhaps you do get a little bit blind maybe to the amount of times those emblems are used on products that you use on a daily basis. But in terms of the stature, it obviously does have great meaning. Indeed, just like the Queen's Enterprise Awards or any recognition from the household that you have had almost a stamp of approval. And how do you go about about getting uh, that royal warrant? Do you approach the royal household yourself by sending them free stuff to try? I mean, if that's (laughs) the case, then they'd be inundated with stuff. I think it's a little bit more complex than that. And indeed, it did actually clarify on a few of the um, sites when I was reminding myself of the details today that you do have to supply very regularly so it's not a case of i once managed to get a product in front of a royal household and therefore i'm allowed to use it Mm -hmm. and the strict conditions around using it where it may be placed how many times you may use it etc are are quite the guidebook as you would imagine um it's it's very much a case that these are brands and businesses that are regularly used have a quality that is a standard that stays the same throughout the years. And even if those businesses do evolve and change themselves, they might have to forgo their royal warrants. For instance, if an organisation becomes bankrupt, changes ownership, it's constantly under involvement. And you would imagine there are teams of people dealing with this because of the prestige that comes with it. Now, someone who also carries royal warrants uh, on some of his products, uh, I refer to the Duchy Originals uh, as King Charles <laughs> himself, uh, someone who you actually met, um, uh, you had a chance to meet and, and talk to um, this side of the business. What, what, what was he like? Um, he presented me with my MBE for services to business. Well, and congratulations. In- uh, thank you. He was incredibly well um, brief but about the particular work I'd done but I I found a really interesting and quite touching conversation about his passion for organizations to do good and do the right thing and indeed Mm. we were talking about the Prince's Trust and just like his late father someone else I met um, talked about retail with uh, great joy actually Uh, Prince Philip was very concerned about the future of the high street I met a few years ago and wanting to ensure that um, the right people were in the place to do the right thing for what he felt was an important part of community 
society, but again, talked about that idea of business doing good. And I think it's not just the sustainability element, which both of them have had um, charity involvement with, as well as being great advocates for. But I think it's about that stakeholder engagement and that piece that actually organisations do need to do well by doing the right thing. Do you need to look after stakeholders and ensure diversity and ensure that profits are made without any... um, impact to to not treating people or customers properly and I think that's what organizations are looking for indeed there was a piece of research recently that said 80% of us as consumers want to use the power of our purse we want to buy from organizations that do the right thing so I think there is a shift and I think we will certainly start to see in the years to come more encouragement for organizations as well as the tradition and and the the symbolism that comes through something like a royal warrant, but encouragement for organisations to do the right thing. Now, I'm assuming that royal warrants will continue uh, at some point. You you will be able to apply for a royal warrant, which will say, by appointment to His Majesty the King. Um, mm. So surely we will see that. And do you think that maybe King Charles, because we've seen how much he he cares with all his, his thoughts on environmentalism the idea that as quite rightly you've said we have become more aware and more concerned and thoughtful about what we eat what we use where it comes from do you think that the royal warrants perhaps are going to be differently allocated this time round if you like Yeah, it would absolutely be pure speculation, but I do feel that there is a great understanding of the business mechanics of how organisations do need to operate in in the future. Indeed, many are right now, and I think there will be certainly merit, I think, when it comes to something like what was the Queen's Enterprise Award and the standards that you needed to reach to be able to achieve such an award, which isn't a warrant, but is, is an award given for business and standing and, and, and actually the, the good work the organisations do to the community as well as their customer base. I think there certainly will be initiatives around that. And we must obviously remember all of the work that's been done with the Prince's Trust, which has helped people engage and start their own businesses and encouraged entrepreneurs from all walks of life. And I think very much there will be great interest paid into how organisations will stand when it comes to sustainability. And goodness knows we need it. We absolutely do need it. There are brilliant, wonderful organisations, particularly in the 5 million smaller businesses in the UK. And a lot of our communities are are, are absolutely, the local economies are are surviving because of those smaller businesses. But I think the encouragement for organisations of all weights, all sizes, to to make sure that they give back as much as they take out is really paramount for a new generation to come. Well, Kate, thank you so much for giving us all this time. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Alex. Take care. Kate Hardcastle there, consumer and retail expert at Insight with Passion.